All right, everybody, here we are. I did a entire 50 minute recording of me just trying to capture his Tyranitar. And I tell you what, I think there was five attempts in total, maybe four attempts in total. And every time he would just kill himself. I think in that whole video, we went through about 80, maybe anywhere from 60 to 80 Ultra Balls we went through. And we never got past two Wiggles. This Tyranitar does not want to be caught, but we are making it our mission, all right? Welcome back, by the way. This is the 15th part of this Pokemon series for Let's Play Coliseum, and we are going to try to catch this damn thing. That is our goal in life right now, is to capture this god-awful Tyranitar. Just does not want to be caught. It does not. It, it likes working for an evil mastermind. X attacks, hooray. They were just wasted because you're about to get one shot by both of these Pokemon. Let him have it. Let him have it. They weren't gonna go anyway. We move quicker than both of these things. Entei's gonna get 62. Yep, we've, we've been here before. We've been here many times actually. <laughs> Goodbye, Caesar. Slow King, I'm assuming. Yep. And if that's the case, we'll pop off a sunny day. Solomance will take two of these psychics. That's for sure. Dragon Dance, all right, no double edge, but he probably will go first next, so he will get at least one double edge off. There's that famous Water Pulse. Psychic again. Solar Beam on homie, and there's double edge. Ooh, Espeon, you held in for me. And we didn't even, okay. Throw out your slacking. We'll we'll throw we'll get it. We'll hit it immediately with psychic, so it's already half dead. That works for us. That works for us. We're going first next. Now unless this uh Now unless this slow king wants to target my Espeon, I think our Espeon should be should be surviving this. And he's definitely targeting. Yep, yep, yep. No surprise there. Shocking. Don't worry, Espeon. You did good. You did good, I promise. I promise. You did great. Um, I guess we'll do Umbreon. We'll have Umbreon target Slow King. Hopefully Slow King with that special defense lowered and a sunny day buff. We can get a flamethrower to take care of it. Because we are going to get that Tyranitar next. And there he is. Now he's going to whip up that beautiful sandstorm that we all just love so much. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, we got the critical hit. That's amazing. That is perfect. Now, just to confirm a suspicion, I want to see if Top Confuse Ray works on this thing. I don't think it does. It 
It does. Okay, cool. I don't know why I have it in my head that ghost type doesn't work against dark type. I thought they were just immune completely. Um, now the question is... Do we want to try attacking it, or do we just want to try to start this bullshit off? I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of those. I've already seen a lot of those this morning. Seen about an hour worth of those, actually. <laughs> Man, Solar Beam does way too much damage. I... Oh my gosh. And this is probably... Yeah, this is... I fucked up. I should not have done that. I absolutely should not have done that. Not only is it going to kill itself because of either the Confuse Ray possibility, but because it's going to use Shadow Rush eventually. You're a monster, Tyranitar. You really are. You are the bane of my existence in this whole Let's Play. <laughs> wow. Just wow. That's what I get, though. That's, that's entirely my fault. I can only blame myself for this outcome. And if that's the case, and we don't catch it and it kills itself, I'm going to just scrap this recording. And we will try again at a later day. Or even tomorrow. Because I've already spent over an hour doing this. Realistically, I just need to eat breakfast. That's it. That's all that is. And we got a rock slide. I can dig that. I can dig rock slide. I'm pretty sure he's going to snap out of confusion next turn. So that'll be nice. We want him to keep using Rock Slide though, so we're gonna get that that Hyper Potion on our Entei. You already know. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Give us the goods. None. No goods were accepted at this time. Tyranitar has... He wants nothing. Oh, and he's gonna hit himself. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got so lucky. Now we can only pray that he snaps out of confusion next turn. Because I'm almost positive that's what's next. The sunlight has faded. It has faded indeed. Come on, Tyranitar. <laughs> oh, man. This has been such a journey. This one battle to catch this thing has just been... Insanity. No. No, the game said no. We're gonna make you stop playing this game as a whole. Snapped out of confusion. Rock slide. Here it comes, baby. Now, the good news is he hasn't used an X attack, so he has not increased the power of this rock slide. In a lot of the other battles, he was doing that, and the rock slide was basically two-shotting my Entei. Which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Well, honestly... Just for... For, for the sakes of survival for our Umbreon, we'll just use Moonlight. I know our Entei can take another rock slide, unless he uses an X attack this turn, and then next turn he'll take us out. Very quickly. I've seen him do two X attacks, honestly. Well, he did burn the first set on the first opening Pokemon, so... Another Rock Slide? No one's gonna avoid these attacks, huh? We're just gonna keep getting hit in the face. Is that what's going on here? Is that... I think that's what's happening.
All right, rinse and repeat. You already know. What are you gonna do, Tyranitar? Are you gonna give me your famous one wiggle? Maybe, maybe your other infamous two wiggle? No, he said the one, the one wiggle. That's what we're going for. All right. Keep using Rock Slide though. That's cool with me. We can, as soon as, I'm pretty sure, once I get, once I know we're getting close to him running out of Rock Slides, I'll switch the flag on so he uses Blizzard at least. Yes! Oh my goodness gracious me. Yeah, buddy. Wow. All right. All right. After I, 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 I scrapped the last recording because, like I said, it was an hour of just failure. But 12 minutes into this one, we did it, baby. We did it. Cypher's finished. The Shadow Pokemon plan ends now. Jerem, are you all right? Look at that Pikachu. That Pikachu is pissed, dog. Blast you, don't forget what you've done, bite. It won't end this way next time. I will ruin you the next time, I promise you that. No, he's trying to escape with that helicopter. Waha, let us meet again. Our bid to take over the world using Shadow Pokemon hasn't ended yet. Oh, snap. Someone ain't letting that happen. Your plan? I think it just ended. Uh, you and your cronies are under arrest. Oh, what what is that? It's a ho-oh! I remember the first time playing this game, I was blown away by that. It's a legendary Pokemon. It's a ho-oh. It is. It really is a ho-oh. It's incredible. It must have been... Keep an eye on your heroics from the sky above. You obviously earned its support. Of course, it would also never allow criminals to get off scot-free. Not when they're guilty of an outrage like creating shadow Pokemon. Oh, wow. So ho-oh was watching over us. Bite, I guess it's finally over. We faced a lot of challenges, but thanks to you, Bite, everything has been resolved. Bite, thank you. You were strong. You answered the call, and you were cool. Look at that. Ho-Oh -oh is so close. So true. This is the first time I've seen one up so close. German Bite, this Ho-Oh -oh is, bl is blessing you for your victory. Such a perfect outcome. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ho-Oh. -oh. Thank you, thank you. For uh, gracing us with your presence here. And blasting that helicopter out of the sky. Pokemon Coliseum. That's right. We finished the story, baby. We finished it. Next thing we gotta do, though, is the post game. There's a little bit of post game in this. Um, between a little bit of story and then I'm pretty sure... I almost want to say that there's a chance to capture the Shadow Pokemon you missed. I could be wrong, though. I, I I thought that was the case. I really did. Tell you what, though. I'm happy we got this thing caught. That Tyranitar, by far, the toughest thing to catch in this game. At least throughout my Let's Play, because that was insanity. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this uh, credits roll. And, uh... Yeah, I'll uh, I'll turn back my camera on once we're done and we're back into the the game.
All right, looks like we're back. That didn't take too long, those credits. And let's see what email we got here. Shadow Pokemon list. New system done. Fight, I did it. I analyzed the data ROM and managed to extract a partial list of Shadow Pokemon. For the time being, I've identified 29 Shadow Pokemon. There appear to be more, so I'll then send updates when I find them. All right. Uh, we, that's myself and Sec, in Pyrite, developed a new system of downloading data automatically to your PDA. From now on, information about Shadow Pokemon should arrive directly from people connected to the network. Check it out. Okay. Ledian. We definitely did not get a Ledian. Encountered in the under, but Snag failed. So maybe we just go back to the under and we can find them. Metagross, yeah. Encountered in the Tower Coliseum, but Snag failed. I'm guessing we just do all this stuff over again. Bayleaf and Quillava. No information. No information. So with this current list, we have four, I believe, that we need to get. So that's what that that's what that's looking like. Another email. Shadow Pokemon. Big guy, there's trouble. The Kid Network got word that a suspicious looking Pokemon was spotted in Pyrite. I'd like to give you the full story in person, so can you come visit me? Oh, absolutely. We can do that. We can do that, no problem. Um, let's fix up our Pokemon here. Plusle, as much as I love you. Don't think we're going to have you up front, even though you're level 61. And that's usually my motto here. Kind of like Espeon up front. Not going to lie. That is something I'm a fan of. Bum. Bum, ba dum bum. Alright, what are we dealing with? Mirror B may be gone, but that doesn't mean their Shadow Pokemon plan is finished. We have to move quickly. We need to gather as much information as possible. Fair enough. Let's see what Homeboy's got for us. Who do I even talk to? You? Oh, hi guys. We just got some news. There's this rogue called Kale who hangs around Pyrite's entrance. It sounds like Kale recently battled this creepy trainer. They say that this trainer used some weird Pokemon. I think you should have a talk with Kale about this. It always has to do with Kale. He's the troublemaker of this town. I should say he's one of them. But he's always the all-suspecting one. Yo, we meet again, huh? How about the Shadow Pokemon? Oh, about the Shadow Pokemon. Oh yeah, I remember battling one, sure. I'd be willing to share what I know with you, but it, only if you can beat me. You ready? Yeah? I'm curious to see what your team looks like after, uh, you know... We're now that we're in the post game, maybe your Pokemon are. Yep, they are definitely stronger. Can confirm. Luckily, we've got decent type ups here. Or match type ups. Match ups? Typing match ups? That's what I was looking for. Now, Crunch is crippled, though, so Crunch is not going to do much. Maybe we'll do Dragon Breath and Psychic on Grand Bull instead. I mean, Psychic might one-shot. I don't know. It did. Okay. Well, whatever he throws out next, we're definitely hitting it with a Dragon Breath. Bum, 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 bum. Shift Tree. Ah, beautiful Shift Tree. The one I hate. But, we're gonna deal with the next turn, which is nice. Yeah, go ahead, set up those physical defenses. We ain't using none of that around here, come on now. I guess Crunch, yeah, we, we, we probably 
could do something like that, but we're not. We'll do our own reflect. We'll have Dragon Breath finish off Shift Tree. No idea what Gardevoir is going to use. Probably Psychic on our Flygon. Unless it knows Shadow Ball, then it'll target our Espeon for sure. Machamp! There's that Psychic. Ooh, the critical. Well done, Gardevoir. I'll give you that one. Well done. We'll do Crunch. It's not going to do much because of that Intimidate and that Reflect, but... It's going to do something before it kills us, at least. Okay, wow. Even with all that, uh... All of that prepping you did to lower my attack. Excuse me. What do we want to do here? We'll just do for alligator, why not? X speed, huh? Setting up for next turn? Are you gonna even make it to next turn? No, you're not. I, I like the effort though. I see what you were going for. Just wasn't enough, dog. Goodbye and good riddance. Very nice. It's been a futile struggle every time. Yeah, that is a fact. Now tell me what you know. That trainer, he used a Shadow Quillava. The trainer's name was, uh, I forgot. He did say something about the team Snagum hideout, though. Oh, shit. Is it going to be available on our map? It is right there, baby. Uh, we're going to heal, though. And then we'll do the team Snagum hideout. Because this is the bit of the post game I was referring to. If I remember right, um, post game consists of... I don't need to go all the way around. Post game consists of the team Snagum hideout, and then basically capturing all of the shadow Pokemon that uh, you either haven't had the chance to recapture since you might have missed some. And then I don't know if what Sec was saying is true about him having 20 or so more Pokemon, and they'll slowly be released uh, on the snag list, but. We'll find out. And then we're also... So after the post game, after getting the Shadow Pokemon, we're also going to do the uh, the Mount Battle Earth Ribbon Challenge, where we basically fight trainers 1 through 100 all consecutively without switching up your team. Now, you can save at the centers in the, in the little break rooms, just so if you mess up, you can always reset. That is, that is something that we know. So we're going to be doing that, because that sounds fun. Quillava tra Trainer. Hey, big guy. Kale wanted me to tell you that the Shadow Quillava's trainer is named Rosso. Or Rosso. Please take care. Well, thank you, Kale. I appreciate you, dog. Max Elixir. Can't go here. And we have a hole that we can go through. And we can save. I think that's a pretty good idea. We'll do that. Yeah, we're at, we've snagged 39 Pokemon about. So we have four that we haven't. So that'll put us at 43. I think there's a total of 46 shadow Pokemon in this game. Let me look it up real quick. There's 48 Shadow Pokemon. 
Oh, oh is obtainable in Pokemon Coliseum when all of the 48 Shadow Pokemon have been snacked and purified. Players would then have to use a team from the RPG to clear Mount Battle. Well, that sounds kind of fun. Maybe we'll try to do that too. Maybe shit. Nah, I don't want to purify all of the fucking Pokemon. That sounds a little ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We could always do it, but I'm not looking to do that. Everything else, I'm down for. Do the post game. Capture all the Shadow Pokemon. Get the Earth Ribbon. But that's really all I'm trying to do. I could change my mind. We'll have to see. Like I said, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how I'm feeling, you know? Of course you missed. Well, he's got light screen. That's like one of the first times I've seen light screen be used. It's not often. Bum, 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 ba, dum. Did not help you to fly, I tell you what. If we had Entei out in front, this would be going a little bit differently. Because we would not be missing Fire Blast, we'd be using Flamethrower. <laughs> Ah, I see you survived, did you? All right, Fire Blast is hitting. Very nice. We don't got to worry about no long-term uh, pin missile attack, which is always good. Silver Wind, fancy, huh? Yep. I will use Dragon Breath, why not? Psychic will take it out regardless. Goodbye. Lived up to my reputation. I like how there's Cypher members hanging out in the Snagum joint. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Is this uh, actively working? Nah, I mean, it looks pretty busted. We'll do this. We'll get our Entei out there. Another email. Uh, I analyzed the Shadow Pokemon list again and discovered six more. The additional, the additions are Tyranitar, Mistrevious, Slugma, Smurgle, Absol, and Heracross. I'll send another update if I can. Well, a lot of those we definitely got. Bloody in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, all right. I see what's going on here. So I'm gonna drop from the sky? Nope. All right, so we got a staircase over there. Let's see what else we got here. Another staircase right here. Uh, let's go up. All right, so we've got some exploring to do here. But we're definitely gonna see what's in here first. Three max potions, very nice. What do you got for us, dog? Some Pokeballs holding off awesome Pokemon. Do you have some? I do, I do. You're about to see them. I'm not, I'm not really sure how many of them you're gonna see, but you're gonna see at least two of them. A Poochyana and a Kadabra, that's pretty cool. Poochyana's a cutie. Let's go with Flamethrower and Psychic, because why not? Not very effective, huh? Just almost one-shotted you, but hey, who am I to judge? 
And goodbye, Poochie. You adorable little Pokemon. What do you got next for us? Ally Noon. I see why you're interested in awesome Pokemon. Other than your Kadabra, I don't think you've really got anything cool. Just my opinion, though. What, what am I saying? All right. Very good. Very good. Got you. And Mighty Anna. Very cool. Had the Poochiana, now he's got a Mighty Anna. Is he just not going to evolve that other Poochiana? I mean, it's in the 50s, so I'm assuming he's not going to. No worries, though. Flamethrower, Helping Hand. And the one shot. Love to see it. <clears throat> That's the kind of progress I like, baby. I knew you had some some awesome Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you fight a trainer and he, he opens out with an Espeon and an Entei, I'd be impressed as well. Where'd you find those? I want some too. Well, it's a secret. Can't say I want to tell you. Nothing hiding there? Okay. What else is up here? All right, that's a barrel. We got a Team Snagum member right here, it looks like. And we'll use a potion on Espeon, why not? We'll we use it, yeah, we'll use, okay. Yeah, we'll use that. We'll get that. No problem, might as well use them. Fight, that's enough of your antics, party's over. Sure it is, buddy. Sure it is, like we're worried about you. Pelipper and Lantern. My Entei is not happy about these matchups. But that's fine. We'll figure something out. Like, for example, crippling all their water moves. <clears throat> Hopefully we can take out that Lantern with Psychic. Not quite, okay. Now what are they going to do? Water based moves? Oh yeah, there's that Surf. It's not going to do much though with that sunny day, baby. Ooh, Supersonic, that's annoying. You are annoying, Lantern. You used it on our Entei though, so I'm not really bugging. Not really bugging about that. We will use Flamethrower, and we'll use Psychic on Pelipper. Took care of you, at least. <clears throat> you surfing bird. Seedra! Alright. Are you gonna hit yourself, Ente? You're gonna let him use Supersonic on my Espeon now? Is that what you're gonna do? Is that what's going on here? Oh, you missed. Alright. I like it. And if that's the case, we will focus on Lantern so we don't have to worry about another supersonic attack. Unless Seedra has it. Always an opportunity for Seedra to have it. Starmie. Interesting stuff. All right, I guess Entei doesn't feel like attacking. We're not getting lucky today. There's Waterfall. We'll use Solar Beam on Seedra, I suppose. Or maybe we'll use uh, Solar Beam on Starmie, Psychic on Seedra. Seems like a good move. There we go. No more Waterfall from Seedra. But Starmie, or yeah, Starmie's gonna probably have Hydro Pump or something. That would not be a surprise. But it's not gonna get the chance to use it, baby. That's right. 
That is right. Yeah, we took care of you. Bro, we blew up your entire crib. And we beat your boss. I don't know why you thought you could take me on. Tell you a painful time one day. Yeah, you keep dreaming, dog. You keep dreaming. Uh, what do we want to do here? We don't have any super potions, so... Let's use a couple potions on Ente. Just a couple. Maybe three. Alright, that should be enough. So there's another set of stairs going down. Ooh, three PP ups. That's pretty nice. I think we'll use those on Psychic, honestly. Maybe Morning Sun as well. Alright, and then we'll do the other one on Psychic. <clears throat> Alright, so we want to see what that other staircase led to. On this other floor. So we're gonna go to there really quick. Boom, 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 boom. He didn't even. What do we gotta talk to you for that to happen? Bite. Sounds like you've been playing hero all over the place. Playtime's over. I'll reduce you to the same sorry state at this snack machine lab. <laughs> Well, at least he can recognize that we did blow it to bits, baby. Rhyhorn and Grovile. <clears throat> we can take care of that Grovile real quick. And honestly, Psychic will probably take a... Uh, take care of Rhyhorn. Maybe I'll do a Sunny Day, actually. I know Rhyhorn doesn't have much special defense. Give me the sun, baby. Crush Claw. Interesting. Respect. Respect. I see you, Grovile. But now I'm about to see you pass into the next life. Not really. You're just gonna faint, but... I like to be dramatic, what can I say? Can you blame a guy? Zangoose! He might survive a Psychic, but I think we get to just double target him. I think he's the last Pokemon this guy's got. Sixty-four Espeon, two hundred special attack, looking great. Yeah, this Zangoose is Dunzo, baby. Take a seat, my dude. And he didn't even survive that. Awesome. Probably didn't even need to use Sunny Day, but you can never be too careful, right? Wickedly strong. That's true. We are wicked. I didn't think you'd be this tough. No wonder you're famous. Well, hey. I guess you got a little bit of brains in there. Nothing hiding there. Okay. Oh, I see. This is where Gonzap would chill, huh? Rare candy. Three of them. That's pretty dope. All right, so that's where those staircases led to. Boom, 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 boom. Honestly, I'm tempted to just use those uh, those rare candies on the Pokemon that just leveled up. We'll get Entei to 65 as well. Dope.
All right, back up here. And then the stairs were over here on the left. Okay, get out of my way, dog. What you doing? I believe I just saw an elevator. Does it work? Oh, this is where the snack machine was. That's pretty cool. Couldn't remember where it was. This is a broken elevator. Okay. And what do you got, big guy? This place is taking a lot of damage. Even I couldn't mess the place up this badly. Huh? You're telling me you did this? Then prove it to me. Show me what you can do. I mean, do you not see the snag machine on my arm? That's literally five feet from where I took it from. We'll do some setup. We don't have the best uh, typing matchups here. But we can use Solar Beam on that uh, Pupitar. Carvana said goodbye. Scary face said I'm gonna lower that speed. Yup, yup. And Espeon will go first, so we'll just use Helping Hand in all honesty. We'll give it something to do. Even with our speed lowered, we got past the Pupitar. You slow little thing. A Spinda! How cute. Let's see how much dive does. Not much. Alright. Now is Carvana gonna be faster than Entei? That's... That is something I'm worried about. We'll take a look. It, I, I'm, I'm thinking it will be. There is a chance it won't be, though. I guess there is a chance. Gelgon. Gnarly. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's get rid of this Carvana, shall we? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now let's focus fire here. Oh wow, we ran out of PP. Awkward. Flamethrower, let's get it. Awesome. That helping ant probably came in through. Pretty clutch. That sunny day as well. You rampage too much, do we? Maybe a little bit. But hey, now you got to see that we were capable of doing what we said we were doing. All right, let's get an elixir. Nice. Um, did we go up here already? Oh yeah, that's what this was. I see. I see. And then we got a challenge homeboy right here. What up, dog? Where did that guy take off to after snagging my shadow Pokemon? Ah. Bandana guy Crudo. I still think this guy's design looks like the main character. Linoon and Swalot. Should be breezy. Should be a breezy little battle here. Question is, are we gonna be able to one-shot that line noon without Sunny Day? I'm thinking we can, but I can also see it surviving a little bit, leaving it in the red. Oh, okay. Another poison type. That's fine. We'll take care of that poison real quick. Ah, 
Oh, okay. It is level 55. It's got some some thickness to it. However, now we're going to be good. Whatever he throws out next, next turn, um, we'll be able to just focus on it and probably take care of it. Oh, definitely. That Sand Slash is dropping next turn for sure. Bum, 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 bum. Let's take care of this guy real quick here. No problem. Might even just drop from Psychic, honestly. No surprise there. This Espeon is broken. I said it from the first part of this Let's Play. This is going to be our one-hit KO Pokemon. Yep. It hurts. It hurts. I feel you, man. Losing a battle, it hurts. A stinking cheat. Come on now, that's not nice. That's actually really rude. I love how we can just walk past these guys like that is crazy. Look at all these Pokeballs. Five Ultra Balls. It's a large snack machine. It appears to have been destroyed in the explosion. <laughs> You're welcome, Team Snagum. Never expected to see you again. Not like this anyway. Well, we're here, baby. We're here, man. We're here to take you down. A Swellow and a Deli Bird. We can rock with that. How many more flamethrowers do we even have left on Entei? Seven, okay. A beautifly. Very cool. Goodbye, Penguin Pokemon. At least that's what you remind me of. What else you got? Gold bat, huh? Good riddance. You're done. You're done here. You don't belong here. Espeon and Entei have been pretty good matchups for this whole base for the most part. Lots of poison, lots of uh, bug and grass Pokemon. Donzo. Boo! <laughs> Boo! That's what I'm saying to you, man. Boo. Wasting my time. Team snack him forever. Yep, yeah, you were ride or die. I respect it. I mean, you're still standing in this dump. Okay, so this is the Quillava, man. Now, I'm I'm pretty sure this Quillava is going to be super underleveled. So, I think we're going to get out our Umbreon for this. Just so we can use, like... Confuse Ray on it. What? What? Bite? It's been a while. Not since the mayor's house in Fennec City. You quit teen snag him. There's nothing here for you. Or did you come out to see me? Rosso. If that's the case, I'd better not disappoint you. Dog, we want the Quillava. This could, um... Oh, yeah. Level 30. Yeah. This Quilava, we definitely could um, replace Entei with. That is for sure. Let me look at uh, Quilava's, or Typhlosion's stats here. I'm guessing it's got a pretty decent, uh, what's it called? Um, special attack in comparison to Entei. 109, yeah. Let's see Entei's. Uh, 
special attack at 90. 109 versus 90. I mean, it's not a crazy difference, honestly. We might just stick with Entei just for the sakes of uh, having like crazy health and crazy speed. Would not be a bad idea. Grumpik does not give a flying fuck, does he? Let's see if he cares about this. Eh, I mean, he didn't like it, but he could he could shrug it off. He could shrug it off. There you go, Quillava. Just keep hitting yourself. We ain't, we ain't even gonna touch you. We'll kill you. We'll kill you good. Whatever comes out next, we're just gonna confuse it. I'm assuming, based on whatever you catch first of those uh, Johto starters, it'll change what you get right now in this scenario. Smoke screen, that's aggravating. I'll give you that. That is incredibly aggravating to deal with. <laughs> However, he didn't hit our Umbreon. Could be worse. What do we want to do here? I guess we'll... We could honestly just heal our Entei. Probably not a bad idea. There you go, Quillava. Struggle. Struggle for us, baby. I guess I should be using Pokeball just in case we do want to put it on our team. But I'm thinking we won't. That's a lot of grinding. And we caught it first try, so we don't really have a choice anymore. <laughs> Breloom, you were smacking yourself silly, my dude. Goodbye. Farewell and good night. Now... Oh, we're out of PP. Fantastic. We'll confuse Muck as well. Surprised we hit this, considering the smoke screen. Very, very surprised. Acid armor, you a punk. That's all you are, dog. Guess, yeah. I mean, we miss. This is going to be a slow grind using faint attack. Ah, not that slow. That's good. And that's what we needed, baby. We ain't even got to worry about nothing. We'll just burn a solar beam, take care of it with faint attack. Well done. Goodbye, Rosso. How could my Quilava be defeated? Technically we just caught it. We didn't we didn't KO it. We didn't do nothing like that, dog. But I understand, you have a script. Enjoy snagging my Shadow Quilava while you can. There are still more Shadow Pokemon trainers out there. Alright, well. 
Was he, was this there this whole time? We could have just got him right here and there. Huh. And we, yeah, we, uh, we took care of everything else in here. We'll go ahead and save real quick, just in case, now that we've done all this right here in the Snagum hideout. I'm pretty sure we took care of everybody in here. I want to say we cleared this whole thing already. Now, where do we go next? Do we go back to Pyrite and talk to the homie? Let him know that we just caught the Quilava? Oh, alrighty. Analyzed the Pokemon list again and discovered six more. The additions are Ursaring, Skip Bloom, Quagsire, Tropia, Skarmory, and Sunflora. Ursaring, I don't think we got. We got a lot of those other ones, though. Tropius, we got, yeah. So Ursaring, Smeargle, Slugma, Bayleaf, Metagross, and Ledian. Hmm. I wonder if we have to legitimately just uh, challenge the tower again to try to get Metagross, which is going to be disgusting. Who wants to do that? We will, though, because we want that Metagross. So that is a fact. That is something we're trying to do here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. What else are we going to do? We're already just about at the hour mark anyway. Okay, so you didn't have much to offer. I'll help you when I get bigger. Plus, was doing great. Doing great. And the song. Still talking about the song, I see. And you're still saying the same thing about me or me. All right, all right. What about the prison, the jail? What about this place? Anything new for us in here? Hi, you two. We blew it. The prisoners broke out. Every last one of them. I reckon they realize that they make easier targets for their organization when they're caged. Yeah, probably. I can see that. No one left anything behind? Nothing. They all snuck away while I was snoozing just a little. Yes, I was sleeping like a baby, but I wish they would have at least told me they were making a run for it. Well, wouldn't that have been easy, huh? That is funny. Alright. Alright, let's look at that list one more time. So, Ledian... ...and the Under. I don't know if we could just challenge him again. I don't even remember which trainer that was. I honestly don't have a clue who that was. Not a single clue. Trouble in Under? Uh, we've been hearing about Shadow Pokemon from people visiting the Under from Pyrite. A lot of the visitors have seen the Shadow Pokemon net. Oh, net and the Under should have more information for you. Okay. Okay. So this was the right decision here. But because we are already at the hour mark, we're going to go ahead and just save. And then the next part, we're going to continue from where we are now. Let's heal. That's probably a good idea. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. All right, cool. But yeah, this was part 15, I believe. Uh, if I didn't say that at the beginning of the, or at the beginning of the video, I apologize. Or if I said the wrong part, I'm almost positive we are on part 14. Or goodness, we're on part 15. Um, we made some good progress. We finally caught that Tyranitar after an, a whole, nearly an hour of recording and failing to catch it. We got close a lot of times, but not quite. But you already know how we do it around here, y'all. Until next time, doses.